become a mass in the current academic year. Learning while facing different difficulties because of pandemic is truly challenging. That is why we researchers come up with this topic to analyze the underlying factors that might affect to the, to the learnings of the students. Good day to our dear panelists. I am Jemelyn E. Peveres, the group leader of Group 2 and together with my members, Philip John D. Ausa, Hani Kia Pogoy, and Delma Costello, we are your researchers for the topic, Online Classroom Modality and its Effectiveness to the Learnings of Grade 11 Students of Jose Abad Santos High School. In this research, we are going to discuss first, the introduction of the topic, Second, purpose of the study. Number three, statements of the problem. And number four, data presentation. And lastly, conclusions and recommendations. In the midst of pandemic, teachers and students are challenged to cope up with a new way of learning. They are forced to embrace changes to survive to this current academic year. Online learning and blood Blended learning are seems the only answer to continue the education of all the students. But the said new mode of learning has never been easy, not just for the teachers and students, but also to the parents. All are affected and still adjusting. Different challenges, problems, and difficulties are being encountered along the way. However, life and learning should never stop there. That's why our topic aims to find out the effectiveness of online classroom modality and analyze the underlying factors that affect the learners. And for the purpose of the study, our paper aims to find out the effectiveness of online classroom modality and analyze the un underlying factors that affect the learners. This will give explanations about the effects being shown by the learners. External factors consist of family support and organizational support. In our, top, in our study that we, stu that we cited, part 2007, said that most adult learners have many responsibilities for their family as well as, well as for their job, and the two are the key factors affecting, affecting adult learners' decision to
police responded because according to them that their strand are aligned to ours so they are willingly to answer our survey while AIM got those respond because according to their president that our survey is not part of their academic performance and written works so they won't answer our survey number two what are the factors that affect the effectiveness of online classroom modality the data shows the different factors that affect the effectiveness of online classroom modality one of the factors that got a lot of responses is the slow internet connection with 73.3 percent because the main reason why this country is still branded with its low internet speed is because the country severely lacks cell sites. The Philippines has the lowest cell site density in Asia. The Philippines ranks 110 out of 139 countries in terms of mobile data speed. Having an average of 18.49 megabytes per second. Next is the problem of poor signal with 61.7%. There are many reasons your signal connection might appear slow. It could be a problem with the modem or router. Wi-Fi signal, signal strength on your cable line, devices on your network saturating your bandwidth, or even a slow DNS server. The third one is the lack of gadget to use with 40%. The Philippines is just a developing country, so we could rather work for a living than focus on the meager wage just by buying and expensive cell phones. Many students have stopped studying because of our country's new learning system. 35% goes to the time management. We all know that the Filipinos are family oriented. We do everything we can just to keep our family alive even we're facing this pandemic. Some of us are studying and working at the same time followed by 33.3% for the quality of teaching. Even teachers facing the internet connection problem that we've been through, and some of them are choppy during their lessons. So, one to two interpretation to disagree and two point zero one to three interpretation to agree and three point zero one to four interpretation to strongly agree as you can see in table number one shows the distribution of the respondents according to the result of academic performance in factors of affecting academic performance four of the question have been equal to strongly agree well, the other of three have equal to agree. 
with our all weighted mean 3.1, we interpreted it is a strongly agree. The factors in statement number 2 affect the academic performance of grade 11 students. That's why we come up with the overall mean 3.1 interpreted as strongly agree. In the table number 2 shows the distribution of the respondents according to the result of students' behavior in factors affecting students' behavior. There were 6 questions given. 5 of them have equal to strongly agree where the rating scale ranges to 3.01 to 4 and other one are equal to agree with the rating scale ranges to 2.01 to 3. Its overall mean, 3.35, we interpreted it as a strongly agree. The same with the academic performance factors in statement number 2 as a huge impact to the process of the studies in terms of students' behavior. Last is the table number 3 shows the distributions of respondents according to the results of students' interests. In factors affecting students' interests, there were six questions given. Three of them have equal to the interpretations of agree with a rating scale of 2.01 to 3. And the other three questions were interpreted as strongly agree with a rating scale of 3.01 to 4 with overall mean 3.0, interpreted as strongly agree. Recommendation The researcher recommends the following. Number 1. The teacher should extend the deadlines of the reports and performance tasks that they assign to their students. Number 2. In order to maintain a harmonious relationship, with their students, teachers should have a better supervision in the classroom. Number three, teachers should have more patience on their students for attending late in synchronous class. Number four, students need to manage their time properly so that they won't have tons of work due. Number five, for the future researchers, this paper can give them more information and can use this as their backbone to support and for their improvisation for their study. And for our conclusion, we researchers focus us on online classroom modality and what are the possible factors that might affect the learning of the respond among the grade 11 students of Jose Abad Santos High School. In survey, the researchers include the profile of the respondents, their age, gender, and strand. Most of respondents age were 17 years old. In terms of gender, 43.3% responded in male, while in female was 56.7%. There are more responses from humans than from other strands. In factors that affect the respondents the most are having a slow internet connection and poor signal. In our, in our third problem statement, we use rating scale and interpretation. 3.01 to 4 for strongly agree, 2.01 to 3 for agree, 1.01 to 2 for disagree, 0, 0.2 0 to 1 for strongly disagree and in academic performance the overall weighted mean was 3.1 strongly agree while in student behavior the overall weighted mean was 3.35 strongly agree lastly in student interest the overall weighted mean was 3.0 strongly agree Therefore, the researchers conclude that mostly students are having a hard time coping with this blended learning and this greatly affects the performance, behavior, and interest in school of the students. According to TDRE 2020, the results show that 
poor internet connection in online in the online class severely impacted both students and teachers experience of the strand once again i am jemelin e febres and i am the leader of group 2 thank you for listening Thank you.